Okay, what's up guys? This is KD Cloudy and in this channel in the past I've talked about a lot of negative stuff about OLED like green tint, display issues and all that. But this video is sort of positive. Um I'll be discussing this new up and coming new like new display technology which could be a good alternative to OLED. Not just OLED but LCD as well. So since forever we have only had like two display technologies right for phones so whenever you want to buy a phone you basically only have two options you either have an lcd display on it or an oled display on it and things are different when you're shopping for a new tv you have like quantum dot qled tvs which have different stuff going on but before we go any further we must ask ourselves what's the fundamental difference between an lcd display and an oled display this is an nexus 5 one of the first phones with a 1080p display and this is an iPhone 12 also has a 1080p display but the difference is that this is an LCD display and this is an OLED display you probably couldn't even tell which is which on camera and that's the point there's not much of a difference the fundamental difference is that the source of light on this LCD display is this giant backlight which is powering all of the pixels and on an OLED display the light source is basically each pixel so you have one light source for this and like 2 million light sources for this. So when you have a finer grain of control over what type of light sources you have, how fine it is and which you can turn on or off at the same time, you get contrast. So if you want to project something black on the screen, you just turn off the display. But you cannot do that on an LCD display. If you turn off that one single light source which is the LED backlight, you basically turn the entire display off. So as a result you cannot project true blacks on an LCD it's like it's like putting a black curtain over a shiny white light and because of LCD's benefits and its efficiency it's not phased out entirely anywhere people manufacturers are still making LCD based TVs but the trick they have done in their latest LCD TVs is implement something called local dimming so what local dimming does is you basically divide your entire backlight into a few different zones and you can control the brightness of each of those zones to have a greater amount of contrast and non uniform brightness across the entire frame so the problem i mentioned about not being able to project true blacks because you have to shut the entire backlight at once is solved with local dimming you can only shut down those dimming zones which fall under the black pixel spectrum on the frame probably using wrong terms to describe that but hope you get the point so yeah that's what i'm trying to say lcds with local array dimming kind of provide a good balance between regular leds and oleds so you have the contrast ratio of oleds sort of not fully and also the color accuracy and the cost effectiveness of regular lcds but why can't we make that happen on phones now the problem with regular led backlights is that they're way too big to create individual dimming zones on like a 7 inch rectangle that is a footprint of a phone or a tablet so that's where mini led comes in The concept of mini LED by the name itself is that it uses significantly smaller LEDs to which comprises the entire backlight which means that you can have more dimming zones and you can have like a good amount of dimming zones when you're working on like a smartphone or a tablet which is awesome. This means that you're increasing that finer grain of control you have over those individual light sources. by making the individual light sources smaller and having more local dimming zones so when you implement mini leds on like big 40 inch 50 inch tvs you'll have significantly more dimming zones and you have a finer grain of control as to which parts of the image you want to be dark and which parts of the image you want to be bright and that's all you want if you want to have a good grip over your contrast ratios and what this means that contrast ratios will get higher and you'll also get the benefits of lcd like the good color accuracy the only problem is that because this technology is so new it's not as cheap as conventional lcds so as manufacturing starts to ramp up and the more streamlining the process becomes the cheaper it will get so that'll be another a few years in the future 
and the good thing is that we already have we've already seen the first wave of uh, mini led tvs at ces 2021 so that's great and the even the bet the better part is that apple is rumored to announce uh their macbooks and their ipad pros equipped with mini led technologies all of these products uh basically all apple products except for the iphone and the apple watch have used lcds since the beginning so this is this this will be quite historic apple finally switching from lcd to mini led and that will be very interesting to see and yeah because you have higher contrast ratios that evidently means they are you get better hdr performance so hopefully this means there is more hdr displays everywhere that's a win for me and i'm very excited about that personally but yeah that's basically it thank you so much for watching hopefully you learned something from this video and if you did be sure to hit the like button and also subscribe if you want more informative av related content like this and i'll catch you guys in the next one cheers